an especially congregated, supererogatory prayer in the month of Ramadan it is, although, not obligatory but is immensely reward-worthy. Among many things that a Muslim would do during the month of Ramadan, is offering the Taraway after the Iftar, ending of the day-long fasting. The word Taraway comes from Tarwiya, literally means to rest in between the four raka segment of the prayer, for it is normally a long sequential of twenty raka offered every night, so that the whole Quran is recited within the month of Ramadan. According to a Hadith, Prophet, PBUH, offered Taraway in his mosque the first night and was joined by a couple of people. Next night he was joined by a fair number of people. The third night he looked through the door and saw a mosque full of people, therefore, decided not to come out. When asked about it, he said he do not wish this prayer, Taraway, to become obligatory for his people. He then decided to offer it at home to preserve its supererogatory status. Bukhari, 6113 Taraway continued to be prayed in Prophet's Mosque after that in several small groups. Caliph Umar, R.A., then suggested a single congregation lead by Ubay ibn Kab. Ubay, R.A., was one of the best Quran reciters amongst the Prophet's, PBUH, companions. The reason behind it was to remove the apparent show of division in the community. He himself, however, neither led nor joined the Taraway congregation for he used to lead the obligatory prayers hence do not want to create the impression of it being obligatory. Upon observing the one congregational Taraway prayer he termed it a fair baida. This incident marks the beginning of the congregational Taraway prayer which is although not obligatory but is still immensely reward worthy. Abu Dar, R.A., reports that the Messenger of Allah, PBUH, said, Whoever stands with the Imam until he finishes, it is equivalent to spending the whole night in prayer. Ibn Khuzaima 3-337 The reason, why Taraway prayer is important? According to Abu Huraira, R.A., the Messenger of Allah, PBUH, used to urge, the people, to perform, supererogatory, Taraway prayer at night during the month of Ramadan. He did not, however, declare it to be obligatory saying, Whosoever performs, supererogatory Taraway, prayers at night during the month of Ramadan, with faith and in the hope of receiving Allah's reward, will have his past sins forgiven. Muslim 9-1188 As far as the forgiveness of the past sins is concerned, the reward of offering Taraway continuously, during the whole month of Ramadan, is said to be equivalent to performing a Hajj. Ramadan is the month in which Allah, SWT, rewards all good deeds in multitude. Let us then avail this opportunity by standing with the Imam, listening to the Holy Quran, and get rewarded for the whole night long prayer. Many people pray just 8 plus 3 vitar equals 11 raka, which is perfectly permissible, due to the consensus of the scholars, Ima, as well as Allah, SWT, being pleased upon his slaves making use of a concession. The Prophet, PBUH, has also not specified any number for the night, Taraway, prayer. Curtailing it, to eight raka, may, however, make one lose the whole night long prayer's reward. Read, https colon slash slash shakir 2wordpresscom slash 2019 slash 05 slash 27 slash what is itikaf in Islam what does one have to do during an itikaf slash